ndimuna ni moyo wakanaka usingaite me very gentle and kind so in the, in the very generous foot ko my thoughts are kuti munobata vanhu Mwari bosi mama mwari bosi ari kuti munobata vanhu mbwe mbwe kutseke The first time I saw Manasi Chirisa he was telling us a story about how he was once abducted by a political gang As a Zimbabwean I could obviously relate but I turns it into me parts but I'm gonna do I laughed the entire time I loved it The point of entertainment is a feeling of escape. And even though Munashi offered no escape from the situation itself, he somehow still gave me that feeling of escape. And then this happened. Our cinematographer got this video from his aunt. His first experience with Munashi came from a person he hardly shares any taste in entertainment with, but it worked. He loved it. This simple concept had somehow found something in all of us that made us universally agree on one thing. This is funny. Yeah, the dude is talented, he gets us, he's different, blah blah blah. But how far can we push that? What is Munashe Chirisa capable of? Hey uh guys, you know reality shows, right? The point is to get a bunch of crazy people who would never click in the same place and get entertainment value from the chaos that ensues. Did I just man's play in reality shows? Yes, but bear with me. It's going somewhere. Okay, think about this. What would happen if a very talented dude was all of them? Or the characters? When I watched this show my mind was blown. Each character was a full person. They had their own speech patterns, their own personality traits, their own struggles, motives, likes and dislikes. They were people. Different people put in one environment. After about a minute of viewing I found myself referring to them by name. Two episodes in and I hated Natai but I adored Changa. Hell, Sandra reminds me of this one girl I once knew who is actually kind of hot. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry, I got carried away. My bad. Look, my point is Munashi disappears and he splits into an entire cast. I won't even get into how well the videographer captured the reality show feel or how well they utilized what might genuinely be one set. Housemates of Zimbabwe is fantastic. Munashe is fantastic and I can't wait for the next episode. Huh. I I can't believe this thing is on YouTube for free. Oh.